Ursula Stadelberger is afraid of heights. To overcome that, she needs to face up to her fears. 3D glasses transport the 21-year-old to a virtual height. The display shows two different pictures. Her brain merges them into a three-dimensional image. The doctor tells her she could go a lot higher if she wanted to. Orzala's not so sure about that right now. But she does feel more confident than usual. I noticed I was more willing to get up close to the railings. I was less scared of heights during the experiment. I haven't really tested it out in real life yet. But I often think about it, like when I walk across a bridge or something. Andreas Mühlberger is a psychologist at the University of Regensburg. He uses 3D glasses to treat patients with various phobias or anxiety disorders. He says signs of improvement are visible after the first session. That makes the treatment not only cheaper, but potentially also more effective than conventional therapies. You can vary or repeat certain scenarios as often as you want. You can create different contexts, all much more easily than in real life. That allows you to optimize things. The games industry has long been a pioneer of virtual reality. Numerous firms specialize solely in developing 3D landscapes. No Limits 2, for example, simulates a roller coaster ride. Berlin artist Philipp Hausmeier is also fascinated by 3D technology. He uses virtual reality to create art. He's even got a special software program to help him. Only when seen through the virtual reality glasses do his installations become three-dimensional. When I first discovered the glasses, it was a mini-revelation. Part of my artwork is about dissolving boundaries, and virtual reality has the potential to dissolve these boundaries, or intersections, between me and my surroundings. Scientists at the Institute of Forensic Medicine in Zurich are also experimenting with the glasses. They use software to recreate the scene of a crime based on footage from surveillance cameras. But experts warn diving too deep into virtual worlds can be risky. Generally, it works well if people are aware of the context. They know this is just a computer game, or I'm now back in reality, and adapt their behavior. But the more this technology advances, the more the boundaries could become blurred. One thing that's perhaps negative is the capacity for escapism offered by this technology. We can already see today, people use it to escape to another world. Experts say the image resolution still needs improving, so more work is needed. But market leader Oculus VR plans to bring out its first virtual reality headset for ordinary consumers at the end of the year. Schiff says a whole new perspective. <laughs>